Good evening. My name is Tanner Howard, and I'm going to talk about books and art. This video idea has been brewing in my head since, like, even when I recorded the last video. I had the video idea, um, which started when I was reading this, the bi biography of Ian Curtis and Joy Division and which I'll share my notes from here. So what really the idea, well the idea has been brewing for so long and I've been putting it off. I don't know, it's been like a week, week or so. I've just been putting it off because I thought, I don't know, that's just what I do. I put it off, it needs to be perfect, but I'm not gonna really record many takes I'm just gonna record I'm turning the camera on I'm speaking and it's not gonna be how I really want it I'm probably gonna stutter it's gonna take me videos to f figure out what I'm doing I hope this setup is decent I acquired this bookshelf and painted this bookshelf pink which I'm excited about these are fiction non-fiction hardbacks and stuff but um besides the point and i was thinking in the shower i was just thinking about recording this video and it's been it's kind of been mutating but it's revolving around the making of art and really oh i should have marked Sorry about this. Well, it really started from a quote uh, in Joy Division about the very beginning of Touching From a Distance. Um, it talks about how Ian Curtis, the lead singer of Joy Division, um, a post-punk band, Manchester band from 1979, if you haven't heard of them. It talked about how he, you know, it's, I'll read it, I found it now. My note says, Ian always wanted to be famous like me, but it wasn't practical. Ian actually, okay, and then I'll stop there. So I've, I've always kind of had the same feeling that might sound narcissistic or egotistical, but I've always kind of felt that I could be famous or that I would become an artist. And that's really what I've always wanted to do do it's like shifted but lately in the my more recent years that's been what I've wanted to do and I don't think this is my final medium I don't think I have a career and being a youtuber but it could give me a platform but what I was saying about letting ideas brew like I have short story ideas I have ideas I'll just let them sit and I won't work on them. And I'll just hope that one day it'll make itself and I'll mature and I'll have experiences and then I'll have stories to tell. But I'm just sitting down and recording this video because I kind of just need to start really making art if I'm gonna be an artist. Um, I think I need to stop bitching around I think I need to just get to it and it's not going to be perfect whatever I put out and I have the awareness of that that I'll get better over time um but I need to start doing it and so in and making challenging art is what I'm going to be talking about and there was I'll read this as well now I'll try to put this on the screen somewhere as well. Um, sorry for the arms. On page 88, it talked about how Deborah, his wife, wasn't allowed to play at show or wasn't allowed to come to the shows that they were playing at. Um, after he had, after Ian and the band started to accumulate a bit of success, and. She said, 
that it must be harder to play the tortured artist on stage if the person who watches your underpants is in the crowd and I've kind of that's been something that's been holding me back not saying that that's a good thing for him to not let his wife come to the show or anything but like what's kind of stopping me from making art is it's very vulnerable you're putting yourself out there and it's some of the things that I think of like art like I would want to put in a story or like kind of could be judged as antisocial and when you're just starting it seems like everyone is kind of really think you're weird um well I think that people could think I'm weird because of this because of what I think of and I think I need to stop being afraid of making art and to make challenging art can improve art as a whole by if voices are silenced then art suffers because there aren't as many voices but there are ch there is challenging art that I'm not a fan of or I think is well that that's maybe I'll get to that later and then um uh, it kind of morphed because I was reading the introduction to Tropic of Cancer Henry Miller's Tropic of Cancer, and it was talking about how he um, writes about sex like it's like no other author. He really just puts it all out there, and it's so like he's not bothered by it. And I I haven't gotten past the introduction. I just read the introduction, and I didn't actually start reading, but I think that's really cool how he can just like not be by what people would think of him and so that is a kind of morphing and then I also started and finished just kids which I don't have um here but that really got me remembering who I really who I really think I am I really think I'm an artist and I've been taking I've been watching um and reading books that are related to art so that's how it's m been mutating but I think Patti Smith is I think her story was really cool um, how she really just devoted her life to art and Robert as well and Robert was a, an unflinching artist he like his his art that he put out was um, definitely could be deemed by some people as, um, he could definitely be judged by what he puts out. And I really, I just want to be an artist. I just want to write. I want to, when I read Just Kids, when I was reading Just Kids, I was just like, so my heart was like, urging to to be like them to make art and yeah and then I just watched me me in the bathroom the story of the 2000s New York rock scene and it was pretty cool seeing the the new New York scene well it's like from just kids, the the seventies New York scene to the two thousands, and watching that, like I, I don't think I'm gonna be a musician or anything, but I've, I've also always thought that I would, be like a good front man, but I don't know how to play an instrument, but I also would like to be like, on the side like a sax guy, like that would be cool, that'd be tight, I just wanna. And not, it's not even about the fame, like, um, in the documentary, it showed how that, like, kind of get, got to some of the artists, like, the fame was, like, too much, and I don't really want to be famous, but I just want to make meaning of my life, and 
I think that a lot of a lot of things are meaningless. I think my days are kind of I don't really know what I'm doing and but that's fine and I've been becoming more okay with not knowing what I'm doing and I feel like reading and is kind of and doing school even it's like nice to acquire knowledge but like it's all in a way it's kind of vain like I'll start and I've been reading this I started this as well and it was just talking about, here, I'll read it. As, f oh shoot. The question, what are you gonna do when it is cast in your face is like an abyss in front of you that keeps moving ahead with each step you take. I definitely relate to that. Like that's, in high school, I would always hate when people would ask me that question because I really, didn't know and I kind of don't know but I'm also I'm also sure that everything is gonna be all right and even though I think of these things as <clears throat> gaining knowledge is nice and gaining wisdom and all is nice but what all what will it all mean in the end to me like if I I read so that I can be a writer but if I just read and talk about books, then will it really mean anything? I don't really know. I think I'm too hard on myself in a way and think that my life might only be valuable if I do something which I perceive as valuable. I want to make something that I'm proud of. I want it to be. I want it to inspire others in a way that Patti Smith kind of inspired me to like create art. I want to. This is kind of where it started for me as well. Hopefully. I don't know if anything will focus or if I'm really in focus. I hope it's fine. But I, I really felt like. This is what I'd want to my work to be like if it's something that I feel like I could make and it's something that I would like to write the kind of it's really down to earth. It's very it's a very quirky movie. Um it's kind of strange. Um but it's fun and it's it's heartwarming. And I actually don't know necessarily if I want to make something heartwarming, but I think it's kind of the the weirdness that I like, um, that I relate to. And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for listening to me, App. Hopefully things will improve in the future. Have a good night.